Yo, what's good? It's Trouble T. Roy with Hit Don't Get Hit Boxing Talk. Hope everybody's having a uh, lovely day. Hope everybody's uh, manifesting positivity in their lives and doing what it is that they plan on doing and uh, living the way they plan on living. Hope all is well, bro. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have some news. Um, so it looks like uh, Canelo, I believe this has been confirmed, Canelo has signed a three-fight deal with the PBC. All right, now, let's give PBC a round of applause. Yeah, yeah. You know, premier boxing champions. He has signed the deal. That's good news because guess what? It looks like we're going to see some of these fights that uh, we've been asking for, right? You know, this is good. This is good. So, from what I understand, supposedly, from what I've heard, I don't know if this is set in stone yet, but supposedly, um, Canelo is set to first fight Jamal Charlo. Everybody give Jamal a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing big things. Um, the brother been gone two years, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> he been gone two years, so who knows what he's gonna look like if this is uh, true. A lot of people are saying this is a tune-up fight for Canelo. <laughs> it's just kind of funny to me. I'm sorry. I gotta laugh about this shit because it doesn't... I mean, it's like, alright. Jamal, you ain't even coming back with a, your own tune-up. You gonna be... Okay. Two years gone. Two years is a long time out of the ring. That's a long time, so. Uh, but if that's what they, that's what that's that's what they want, the fans win, right? <laughs> we win. Jamal lose, but we win. Um, so, <laughs> so from what it sounds like, Jamal may be the first uh, opponent out of the uh, three for Canelo, as he uh, has joined the PBC with a three fight deal. Um. And then possibly uh, there, I've heard Earl Spence's name. They've been talking for a couple, at least a year or two about the, that fight. Earl Spence talked about he'll go up to one. I think he said one. If he if if Canelo wants to fight, he'll fight him at a catch weight of one sixty five. I mean, yeah, that's that's cool. That's a good. I definitely watched the fight. I mean. I mean, prediction of my own is that uh, Canelo smoked Spence at 160 anything, but that's just me. But if they want to make that fight, I definitely, I'm definitely going to try to watch that one. And then uh, I think possibly, I don't know what's going on with uh, Benavidez, but that has to be, I'm pretty sure that has to be a possible uh, uh, fight to make. Um, as much as they've been going back and forth, I think Benavidez can get that fight but Pen Benavidez he got his own shit to deal with right now because for some reason um uh Morrell uh David Morrell has been calling them out and it sounds like uh supposedly there was supposed to be an offer given to uh David Morrell if I'm correct or maybe vice versa but Morrell is coming out saying that there was never anything on the table and that uh David Benavidez is ducking so who knows what's going on with Benavidez? I mean, Morel is 9-0, I think, with eight knockouts. No losses, obviously. And for some reason, why is it so hard to make this fight? I mean, I, I'm looking at, okay, uh, high risk, low reward. You know, because I would ha I would hate to see Benavidez go into a fight against Morel and look bad because... That ain't going to be a good look. That ain't going to be a good look for uh, David Benavidez if he goes into a, a fight with a guy with only uh, nine fights um, who's only went the distance one time, who's knocked everybody else out, and you look bad. That's going to hurt your money. That's going to hurt your future. So I don't know. Maybe David Benavidez, maybe he pulled back and was like, nah, I don't want to take that chance. I'm trying to get this Canelo bag. 
that's possible. He might be saying, you know what? I'd rather just wait for Canelo instead of risking risking it against a guy who's only who hasn't even had 10 fights yet. Maybe I'll just wait for Canelo. I mean, it's smart, but at the same time, it's like you the you the, the quote unquote Mexican monster. You supposed to be a monster, right? You know, so I don't see why you need to to dodge motherfuckers just to save yourself from one guy who doesn't need you anyways. But I mean, that's just me. That's just me. But yeah, that, I think that's a possible fight between uh, uh, Canelo and Benavidez. I think that's possible to make with this three fight deal with the PBC. Um, that's another fight. I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe y'all could correct me, but isn't uh, uh, Andre, uh, Demetrius Andre, ain't he with PBC now or am I tripping? I don't know what he's doing as well. I don't know. I, it, I mean, he didn't call it out like everybody in every other division other than, you know, the people who's supposed to be calling out and he's just been inactive. Don't know what he plans on doing next, but I thought that he he got with uh, Premier Boxing Champions. I thought that he signed a deal with them, or it was just rumored that he might. I'm not sure, so y'all can let me know on that one. Um, but I guess if that's possible, if if he did sign, or they have some kind of agreement, he has an agreement with uh, PBC, then that could be a possible fight as well. Me personally, I like to see him fight Benavidez, Charlo, and Andre. Me personally, those are the three fights. If I had to say, all right, Canelo signed a three fight deal with PBC, who would I want to see him fight? Benavidez, Charlo, and Andre. Just so he could do what he does and shut everybody up. Because most of these dudes that act like they're fans of these, these three fighters are not fans of these three fighters. They are just people who want to see Canelo lose. It's like, it's basically basically like Mayweather all over again. Y'all don't, y'all ain't fans of these dudes that y'all y'all claiming and saying is 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 the 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 guy to beat Canelo. Y'all not fans of them. Y'all just y'all just want to see Canelo lose because as soon as Canelo, if it comes down and Canelo beats these three guys, y'all just gonna look for the next three guys to beat him. And that's it's just simple as that. Y'all ain't fans of these guys. Y'all just want to see Canelo lose by any means, right? Because as soon as if, if he beats Benavidez, if he beats Charlo, both Charlo, shoot. If he beats Spence, if he beats Andre, whoever he fights and he beats him, y'all just going to look for the next person. Oh, well, they couldn't do it, but this man will. Morel might be the next one. If he if he beats Benavidez, I guarantee you I'll hear I'll hear people, well, well, David Morel, he's the guy to beat him. You know? I guarantee you. Guarantee you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nah, we don't believe you need more people. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, nah, it's cool though. Um So yeah, that's what it's looking like right now. Uh Canelo, he has some options. It looked like his best options are with the PBC at this point because what else is he supposed to do? And this, this is not his first time working with PBC. And what it's looking like is um, he's making another move. He's busting another move because what did he have to do to go undisputed at 168? He had to sign with the PBC and get that fight with uh, Caleb Plant. And guess what? Look, Look, Canelo is not the kind of guy to say, nah, I ain't going to do it because they over there. I'm right here. Nah, that man is about his business. Look, make me the offer. I bring the money anyways. So the offer really is my offer to you. It ain't you offering me shit because I'm the one bringing the money. Once the fight is signed, the fans is coming to see me beat up whoever you put in front of me. You know? So make make that quote unquote offer and I'll make sure y'all get paid. I get paid. We move on. That's what he did with Caleb Plant. There wasn't nobody checking on uh, Caleb Plant before uh, Canelo fought him. Ain't nobody checking on him now. And it'll be the same thing for Benavidez. Be the same thing for Charlo. I mean, Charlo's both twin brothers did the double header and they didn't even crack 
a nice number like that, which we, which they should have. You know what I'm saying? They didn't crack nothing crazy when they fought on the same card. Two main events, a, a, a dual, duo main event or whatever you want to call it. They didn't crack much at all. I remember that. I watched that shit myself and I was like, damn. You know, after the fight, I seen the numbers. I'm like, they ain't do shit. So, but Canelo beats Ryder and what? He does 500K off of Ryder. Nobody know who Ryder is, but everybody know who Canelo is. Canelo is the one bringing people to the stadiums, to the arenas. He's the one selling the pay-per-views. He is that guy. So let's not act like something's wrong. Let's not act like Canelo isn't the guy. He's the guy because everybody wants to see him beat. You know when somebody is that guy is when everyone wants to see their falling. That's how you know somebody is that nigga. When they want to see you fall, you are that motherfucker. Until if they don't hate on you, then you ain't got nothing to hate on. There's nothing, there's nothing special about you. The special ones are the ones that get the most hate. And it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So hey man, you know, so let's see. I want to see what happens with this this three fight deal with the with premier boxing champions as far as what Canelo decides to do. It's gonna be very interesting. I think we are finally gonna get the fights that we wanna see that everybody's been complaining about, crying about all this stuff and begging for. I think Canelo might go ahead. He didn't get the fight with uh with a uh, bottle jack because bottle jack asking for crazy shit you know as far as the fight the clauses he want he want to set up these clauses he want to do the tank tank against uh the the tank against ryan garcia's shit and then uh you know uh yeah we definitely ain't getting the bevol rematch which i didn't want to see in the first place i didn't want to see the first fight I didn't think it was necessary. It kind of was bullshit, but you know, that's Canelo just, just, you know, daring to be great as they say. And he tried it and he got, <laughs> he didn't get stopped. He didn't get flatlined, but he got his ass beat. We all understand that. And that man wanted his get back, but it's like, there's no reason for a get back. Why don't you stick to doing what you are here to do? That's it. You know what I'm saying? So. So we ain't getting a Bavol fight. We're not getting Badu Jack, which is fine with me. Go back down to 168 and ruin these motherfuckers. They've been talking all this shit. Fuck it. What else do you have left to do at this point? Come on, man. Go ahead, Canelo. Do what you got to do. Get your money and then get out of there. Shit, you still young. You can retire early and fucking shit. Sky's the limit. So, anyways, man, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, again, this is uh, Trouble T. Roy. Hit, don't get hit, box and talk. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And all that good shit. All right, y'all. Hit me up. Peace.